I'm gonna just do uh, okay this MK Lee on Nairo with no hair. Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Why are you ignoring me? You don't like me anymore, right? Jason? Are you mad at me? Why are you ignoring me? You don't like me anymore, right? Jason, why are you ignoring me? Jason, are you mad at me? Jason, why are you ignoring me? Jason! You don't like me anymore, right? What's up guys, it's Sam Helio, I'm Mewtwo King. We're gonna be talking about Palutena. I don't know what game is Palutena from, but like- we're gonna... Oh, okay, that game, I never played that game. I, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even know that game. So we were, we were just gonna talk about Palutena. She's one of the best characters in the game. She's one of the best combo characters in the game because her nair is like Ike's nair. So that's why I'm gonna be talking about that nair. So uh, yeah, just nair. Yeah, so, you just all you have to do is just yeah. nair a lot. There at zero, you just nair. Uh, Palutena was considered below average in Smash 4, but now she's a really good character. I think she's probably the bottom of top 10, in my personal opinion. In addition to that, she's by far one of the easiest good characters to use. And the main reason for that is what I'm going to talk about next for combos is the nair. So uh, you can literally just nair someone ob over and over from zero. Here, just, just nair string me from zero. I'm at zero, so just do it. You can't really do anything, like I'm holding down away, it doesn't work, I'll hold up in, you can still hit me again, and, but he sucks. But anyway, all you have to do is just keep nairing, and then it, when you land on a platform, you just nair and land on a platform, and you can get one more hit. Or you can end it with a double upper if you want. You can do like 30-40 damage combos if you're not good, and you can do like 60 damage combos into positional advantage if you are really good. So, uh, the basic idea, the, one of the main reasons she is so good is because of the nair. Specifically, the nair is at zero and close to zero because you get several more guaranteed hits. It doesn't even matter what, if you're a big body or a small body. On that note, hitting big bodies works even better because you can, you can get at least one or two more hits versus a very big body compared to like a small light character like Pichu where the combo will end sooner. Like you can just do nair into backyard, nair into fair, nair into upper, and like so it's gonna connect. You can also do like nair into dash tag, nair into like spike. So it's basically just a, like like Ike actually, just a base like an air base character. And then for down throw, you just down throw up air, or down throw raw back air, what, like a hundred at the edge, and just kill no matter what, which one they, they do. It's pretty simple. Oh well, no, actually there are a few more combos. Um, I just remembered. There's another one you can do. Uh, this is a mid percent combo. If you hit them off stage with a forward air back air, so I'll I'll just try to do this first. Side B. You side B into the neutral B. So this is a, a really good combo that starts at mid percent. So after you, obviously your low percent goal is to hit them with the nair because then you get a big combo and now you put them to like mid percent, usually mid low percent. For mid low percent, you, well, you need to just set this up first. Uh, we're gonna get you to like 50. No, we're gonna get you to 50. You don't know what I'm trying to do, let me hit you. Okay, hold up. Oops. Okay, yeah, mid percent. So what you can do here is, uh, mess up, okay. You back air, and then you can do one of these. Uh, why don't you try? Why don't you try for it? Stop. You need to be good at it. Let me try. Let me try. What are you doing? You just get more Stop. damage. You were wasting their time. No. Oh. Do the for air. No, well, I'll for you. Stop. Stop. You parrying? Why are you parrying me? I'm not gonna let you do it. I ignore all this. Delete everything. I'm just trying to show him the combo. Okay. All okay. I have to do is back or forward at mid percent, and then you do the I can bet that you're not gonna get it. Told you. Why are you trying to show something that you can't even do? You can't do it. Yeah, but like, we All right, don't do it main, to me. Do it to me right now. We don't main Palutena. That's why we can't get it. No, it's easy. You just, I just don't know the percents. I know this works. This is not working right now. I right, do it everything. This is all script. Okay, if you're a Palutena main, please comment below. If no, that come it's with easy, I just combo. don't no, remember it's actually not easy. Okay. You just do the explosion, no, and then after really the explosion, you it. jump up and do the neutral beat. No, so it's you can not get a lot combo. Of it depends the, on your, the explosion it depends on your DI. Combo. If you're the I'm wrong, you're just gonna get it. But like, that's why it's a situational combo. Like, you're never gonna get it, like, if they know you're gonna look for that. It's not like 50, okay, 60%, I'll do, I'll do, like a, I'll do a different thing, a very basic combo. When you hit the explosion for mid percent, Jason, so you do, salty, you, sorry. No, this is different. This is different. When you hit the, when you get your 50, 50. hold up. Okay, 
So when you hit the explosion, um, here, this combos. The, this, the, depending on the situation, this can be a, that could be a true combo, just as I showed. Uh, I don't know the exact percent it works, but usually mid mid percents, or like maybe mid high percent, you do the explosion, and then uh, you just do full hop, and then you press the B button, and it uh, it it combos them to the three shots, which is some really nice extra damage. So if you wanted to fish the explosion from mid percent, you can get a a nice combo of jump B. Okay, her neutral is if they're camping you, then you can do things like the the, your your projectile attacks, for example, like no dash three. dash away, pivot B, like this, which works. Works like Or you can do one of these at two ranges. You can do the tilt version, which goes less distance, which is usually safer, or the smash version, which goes further. And you know, if, let's say Wolf's camping laser, and you predict he's lasering, you do this. You just um, press the B button basically, and then you shoot three shots, and it goes through one of the shots, and it trades for better damage. But beyond that. The neutral is a lot of uh, jumping and aerialing. Like you, you jump near if you think you're gonna hit, if you think it'll hit. But if you're just spacing, you can jump fair and jump back air. And both of these moves are safe spaced. Also, the shield, for which works for like the back air and the dash attack, it's actually completely invincible and will always beat your attacks. So the back air is pretty much like your your standard move. The fair is also really good, and then there's for the combo. So basically, you just jump and aerial a lot. You also have very good dashing. So with easy to use projectiles, very simple game plan. It's not a surprise that she's like a common commonly used character. She's very easy to understand and pick up, while also remaining very effective at the top level. Wait, my hair is through my shield. Mine too. No, okay, like, about my hair is going through my shield. About the strange and weaknesses is that her hair is going through the shield. That's not and, realistic. Uh, weaknesses are like, in my opinion, Lucina is, I mean, Pautena, sorry. <laughs> she loses to like characters that has more range than hair. Cause like, I mean, she has, she has like very good moves, but like her backer is like the, the only move that you can't punch. Cause like you know the backer has, the backer and dash attack has like block hit, so you can't even hit the shield, it's like super strong. It's gonna be every move, like it doesn't matter what move, even a little max KO is just gonna block it. So you just need to like be really, really confident that you're gonna be able to hit like Palutena. So you just need to, you just need to like make sure you don't get hit by backer. Like I also, I also don't know why Palutena main doesn't spam that more. Cause like I actually think you can just be a space in that back and like you're never gonna get hit. But also Palutena is like Jason already said she's like a character that is always throwing like aerial moves, so you can just like bury Palutena super easily. Yeah, it's strange. Are like she's like recovery, a recovery, like, like a super, recovery. like a super basic character. Even if she has like a good recovery, she can still get punished if you like react to her obby. It's like actually super hard. You, she can just like delay the obby or something, or, like go somewhere else. Uh, it's basically like a super ba like a super basic character, so it's like you don't need to learn Palutena like a lot to be really good with the character. Obviously, if you want to win tournament, you need to be like a god like with any other character. But like if you just want to play Palutena like like a mid level, high like mid high mid level, it's just you're just gonna pick the character, you just learn the combos by going to training mode and you're just gonna be able to get like a lot of damage. It doesn't matter if it's a light character or a heavy character, you're just gonna be able to get like 60, 80 damage. If you're optimized, it comes. So one thing that Palutena's will do very often is you can pla platform, uh, teleport cancel to the edge of the platform. It's really easy. You just hold down right, basically, and uh, then you slide across the platform. So here's how it works. Basically, if I was to teleport straight down, you'd probably assume like, look, if I'm really high and I teleport down, yeah, you, you assume it. you land here. But what actually happens is the game just pushes you across the ground. So I'll hold teleport straight down. See how I went to the right? What, the moment I, I went down until the moment I landed, and then it pushed me in the direction I was facing. So that's just kind of how it works. But also, if you do an angle, like let's say you're over here, over here on the stage, like above this part of the stage, you just, plop, you just teleport cancel. And that's that particular teleport cancer I just showed. It's probably something that Palutena's would do very often. You're not limited to only that. You can pretty much do any, the edge of any platform. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be a platform. It could be the edge of a regular stage. But the one I just showed is probably going to be the single most common individual example. Um, so if you're fighting a Palutena and you, and you see them do that, or, or you could just keep it in mind even beforehand, um, you just know that, oh, you have to attack this spot. Like, be ready to attack this spot at the edge because the, the, the teleport cancel will be very common. Also, it's nice to be able to learn yourself because you want that one extra mix-up. Like any other video, we're just gonna be ranking the, the, the Palutena attributes. For combos, I think like an A. 
Because I think exactly the same thing as Ike. Their combos are like pretty good, but like she's not gonna kill you out of a combo. Yeah, she won't kill you, but her it's super free it's from, super from good. like zero like, to fifty. It's like the contra part from Ike. Like Ike doesn't get like a lot of damage from his combos, but like if he gets a combo, he, he's just gonna kill you at like 100, 120, or like even 80 percent. Lucina is not. I mean, Paul then I always forget. She's not gonna be able to get that. She's just gonna be able to like get you from zero to 80, zero to like 100. But like, she can she can only do it once. So that's why I give her an A. Yeah, I give her an A as well, for the same reason. Edge Guardian, I think Edge Guardian is actually really good, so I'm gonna give her an S. Like I already told you, you can just Edge Guard like any, like every single character in the game, like any character in the game. Yeah, I also think it's S because she has tools such as this, the explosion to cover everything above the stage, the shield, which will always beat your attack and just is powerful in its own right and the Nairus can dip below the stage very safely. She also has a down tilt, which can two frames. So Super Freedom has tools for any situation. So because of that, I'd say yes. Neutron game, I think it's an, I don't know about that one. I would say it's an A. Cause like, she sometimes loses to like character faster than her. Like if you're fighting Barista Fox and you try to like approach, or like even if you're in tried, you just try to like cam Fox, you're still gonna get hit before you can do anything. She can like, I mean, I already told you that she actually has any moving, like every move in the game, counter, good projectile, uh, reflector, good recovery, uh, like range moves, but like she's not that fast actually. She's she's always gonna be like in the air so you can just punch her. Yeah, I think her neutral is an A. It's, uh, her dash is really good. The shield the shield moves she has, like dash attack and back air, they, they will just always win over your move without even trading, which is really useful. She has good spacing, projectiles. She pretty much has everything. I'd, I'd say if she's fighting a slow character, her neutral is an S. If she's fighting a rush down fast character, it's like B plus or A. Q power, I think it's an A also. Q power, she's not like a strong. She doesn't have any Q confirms besides from like down throwing to wrap back here. And like back here is actually really strong. Her smash attacks are like also super strong, but I like super slow, so. If you want to kill someone, it's probably not gonna be with a four smash, down smash. Up smash is like the best move for some recoveries in the ledge. And like, you can also do like down throw to read uh, air dodge into up smash. Yeah, I'd say her kill power is an A as well. She, def she definitely doesn't have the KO power of hit hard hitters like I can get in, but she has a lot of ways to kill you at a fair percentage. Like the explosive flame can kill at like 130, for example. And then a back air at the ledge can kill at like 100, 110, depending on how where you get her. She's usually gonna kill in the low hundreds on average, unless she gimps you. And that's uh, that's fairly that's fairly respectable. And back throw is pretty strong. Yeah, I'd say overall it's an A. She doesn't have too much trouble killing, but she's not gonna like kill you super early either. Movement, I think it's uh, A. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's an A. Like her dash dance is not, it's like really good, but it's not that fast like any other characters. Also like. No, it's really good. <laughs> I, mean, dash it's, dance is good. I mean, it's really good, but like that's the only thing she can do. Like if you jump, you also have like good movement, but there are some other characters that can just go and punish you over and over. So you literally just like, but Palutena, I told you already, is one of those characters that is based on the on the range, how you space your, move, your moves. So you just need to like make sure you, you know how to space them. So I will give her an A. Yeah, pretty much the same thing we already covered. Nothing new to say. Overall, in my opinion, Palutena is one like... Bottom of the top tier, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's like top 10 for sure. I actually think, be, like, as well as people overrate Peach a lot, I think they underrate Palutena a lot. Yeah, I pretty much have the same opinion. I think she's like lower end of top tier, like the bottom of top tier. Too bad for you. <laughs> Okay guys, this was Paulo Tina is playing by Mewtwo King and I, so in case you like it, just let us know what any other character you want us to do, and we're gonna be playing it. Also, in case you like the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, if you, in case you still want to see more of, this, uh, more of these videos, we're gonna be uh, uploading actually a lot of videos like this, so just make sure you subscribe, you uh, hit the bell, and like, let us, let us know what you think about the video and your talks about Paulo Tina. <laughs>